Okay, if you're having issues trying to SSH into your site ground server, this is, I, I was, I, it took me two hours to figure this out. Uh, the documentation says do one thing, but this didn't work. So let's go through it. Um, I'm just going to show you what the error is, and then you can fast forward later to get the solution. Um, so basically, key manager, so you go here, key manager generate, and one thing you need to make sure, uh, we'll get there. Let me do this. So we're going to call it key one. create and that will put it down here then you need to look at your private key and I'm gonna delete this so it doesn't matter if anybody sees it copy it then you go to notepad paste it get rid of this bottom line I've seen that I think I've seen that cause issues before save as change this from txt to all that's a, that's a something that gets overlooked a lot key2.ppk make sure it ends in ppk and so that's that now let me make sure i'm following all the steps and make sure okay so the um, okay i messed up here too it says make sure you don't use this 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 and this I was using putty gen.70 and I was having issue. It's because I was using an exclamation point, I think. So even though exclamation point isn't listed, I would not use any special characters if you're using putty gen.70. But the workaround is just update to the latest one. As of this recording, it's 0.73 and that issue went away. I had multiple issues, so. Okay, so we copied the clipboard and we saved it as PPK. So we're going to launch Putty Gen. Then load private key, load. And you put the password in. And you get this. Couldn't load private key decryption code. And I, I tried converting it. I've seen where some people um, convert it from, because it needs to be RSA. And I might be a little, not using the correct terminology here. Um... It needs to be the right type of key. Whoops. We'll, we'll compare it at the end. So this says begin open SSH private key. So let me, let me we'll go back to that. So what you have to do, and it, it's not specified in here, or what worked for me, delete this private key. So what we're going to do, we're going to generate a public private key pair, and we're going to push that to we're going to put that on your on the site ground server and make sure rsa is selected i think dsa will work as well but make sure rsa is selected so we're going to give it a pass kit phrase okay and then you're going to save the private key we're going to call this private rsa you can call it whatever you want as long as it ends in ppk right here and then here's the thing this messed me up too Okay, I got the private and the public, so I went to save publicly, and then I did the other steps to see work, and it didn't work. But if you look up here, public key for pasting into authorized keys. This is what you need here. So you copy, and you note, add, paste, file, save as. Make sure you change it to all. Call it public PPK. Save it. Then go to import here. And let me check one thing real quick. So private key RSA. I want to see if it says open SSH at the top. Okay, see how it's changed? It says SSH RSA. So it has, it has something to do with the private key not being in the correct format. Because remember the other one said open SSH up here. Um, so then you go to you're on your ssh keys manager page you go to generate import and you can call it whatever you want public oh i didn't need to create that file so just copy make sure there's just to be sure there's no extra spaces and then you import invalid public key of course so Let's go back, copy, wow, 
Okay. Oh, import key from vial, maybe. Um, yeah, it's probably the same thing. Wow. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pause this while I figure it out. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, what I was doing, I was only case pasting this top section, so make sure you scroll all the way down and get it. Copy, paste, import. Okay, import it. So now what you need to do, so this is with PuTTY. I mean, if you put a Linux emulator on your, wind your Windows PC, it would be a little differently, but this is only for PuTTY. So if I remember my steps correctly, you now... So this is your login credentials right here cache-go.com and the username and make sure you do port 18765 so you go so you want to do pageant it's already running so you go now you, you make you do this with your private key not your public key because your private key is what you own the public key is what's on the server and they communicate with each other so load into pageant pageant however you pronounce it put in your password and we're good so then you go to putty and you create the session here. So if, if this is what you're doing it for the first time, you'd put it here. You'd put you know server.com and you would change the port here to 18765. Then you would call it you know server session and you would save it. But I'm not going to server.com, I'm going to cache dash go. So cache load, you can see it's up here, okay. And the private key is loaded in PA agent or whatever it's called. So you open it and you log in, so you come back and get this username. And you come back here, and if you just go into put in, you right click, it'll paste it, and you hit enter, and you're in. So, I spent two or three hours trying to figure this out because SiteGround moved to a new uh, um, admin panel, and it looks like maybe the process is buggy, or maybe it's something in my putty configuration. I have no idea. So, that is it. Have a good day.